Would an evening be complete without a visit from Sophie Tucker? I will never forget it, you know. Go ahead. I will never forget it, you know. I was hanging out my laundry the other day, minding my own goddamn business. My girlfriend Clementine leaned over the picket fence and said to me, Soph, how come? How come you always know when to hang out your laundry? You never get stuck in the rain like the rest of us do. I said to her, Clementine, it's a perfectly simple proposition. This is what I do when I wake up in the morning. The first thing I do is roll over and take a good look at my boyfriend, Ernie. If it's laying on the right, I know it's going to be a sunny day. If it's laying on the left, I know it's going to rain. Clementine said to me now, so, supposing it's standing straight up in the middle, I said to her, Clementine, who the hell wants to do laundry on a day like that anyway? I will never forget it, you know. I was listening to the radio the other day with my boyfriend, Ernie. We were listening to Father Grace, the great faith healer. Father Grace said, now, if you are sick and you wish to be healed, put one hand upon the radio and the other hand upon that part of your body you wish to heal. Well, I put one hand upon the radio and the other hand upon my heart. My boyfriend, Ernie, put one hand upon the radio and the other hand upon his, uh, well, well, his, uh, his appendage. I said to him, Ernie, darling, he is only trying to heal the sick. He is not trying to raise the dead. And I meant it too, God damn it. I tell you, I will never forget it. You know, my girlfriend Clementine is a filthy, vulgar old broad, not unlike my own self. She likes to keep me abreast of all the latest and filthy, rotten jokes and filthy, rotten songs. The other day she rang me up. She said to me, Soph, listen to this one. You have never heard anything like it. Soph, what do you get when you cross a donkey with an onion? I said to her, Clementine, I got no idea what the hell you get. She said to me, Soph. Usually you get an onion with very long ears, but occasionally, when the stars are just right, you get a piece of ass that's so wonderful it makes you want to cry. I will never forget it, you know, my girlfriend Clementine, at the height of burlesque, was a great, great stripper. But she hated her profession so violently, she used to have to run to confession in between performances. One day she completely forgot to put her shirt back on, ran into the church, nipples to the wind. A young priest stopped her, said, Madam, you cannot come into the house of the Lord dressed in that fashion. She said, Father, I have a divine right. He said, well, your left ain't bad either, but you got to cover your head. <laughs> Not too long after that, Clementine was leaving the church after confession. She slipped out a banana peel. Her dress got caught on a nail, unraveled instantly. She slipped down a whole flight of stairs. There she was at the bottom of the stairs, quite naked and quite, quite comatose. A passing motorcyclist took pity upon her plight and put his crash helmet over her exposed groin. Then the doctor came, and he took a long look at her. He said, well, we'll put her in the ambulance, but first we gotta get that cop out of there. Thank you very much. Um,